So this is another edition of Call of Limitations. We're going to do Kerrigan only Mass Nidus Worms. Ooh, how exciting. I'm going to treat it like a normal build. Where I, you know, get my fog. Uh, sorry. Extractor trick. Oh my god, words. Do my extractor trick. What's going on, are you gonna? How you doing? Oh my god, I forgot to build my... Okay, we're changing it up a little bit from a normal build. I'm gonna go gas before hatchery. So, there it is. <laughs> Funny. Something felt off, but whatever, we're good. I don't really, again, I don't really need the extra hatch. It is does get you more um, workers a little bit quicker, because you do want that. You know, like right now, you can't really do anything to increase your larva production besides making another hatchery. Anyways. It's, so the reason why you make the hatch, and I just reset it, is to make sure that you get that extra um, larva production. Because, like, right now, I'd be, like, probably, like, three or four workers ahead already if I got this out quicker. So, it does matter. It does matter a lot. Plus, while you're waiting for this to finish, um, these guys can be moving over here. You can start working on getting some of that saturated. It's, it's a really good idea. Adds a lot of utility to your build. That. Make some wings. Box. Okay, so really all I need to do is now get a evolution chamber, and I'll just use that to get all my Kerrigan upgrades, and then that's about it. matters less what I get when it comes to Kerrigan, um, you know, up gases, all the things. I'm just going to be making worms with them, so. Next stack wave should be coming around six minutes, I believe. Make it quick. I am the swarm. Hey, Jess, what's going on, man? You have my attention. Yeah, I was gonna say should be here by now. They're already dead, Chica. Come on. Assimilation aura is ready, my queen. Our defenses are proving effective. Soon the temple will be ready. Is it already? The next one I think is 6:45 or 7 minutes. I can't remember exactly which one it is. Uh, so it is 6:45. my attention. 
attention. Explain it. Make it quick. The enemy's going after your allies' base. Speak. I've come this way. is bombarding the temple. You must end its assault. forces are attacking the temple. No worries. We'll keep her safe and sound. Immobilization wave is available, my queen. Speak. I... Things are getting paralyzed bases under assault. I've got them. We sense the hybrid. Amon's pet. Show them the fury of the swarm. So can I make... Um... Uh, any sort of static defense, or is it just Kerrigan? I don't care either way. I mean, the goal is for me to have as many of these as I possibly can get. Keep making them. Amon has summoned a void threat. It will severely harm the temple for as long as it lives. We have defeated a void thrasher. Go ahead. Now I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it should be here next, but. Do a little clearing first while I can.
Okay, it is okay. Oh, whoops, did not mean to put them all in there, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, my stupid workers. So the next one, next attack wave after this guy is either going to be the southern one, or it's going to be, um, I think there's actually something left over here. Okay, so we got to see which side it's going to go on. But it might be, I don't know, now it's over here, it's over here. So we're going to have to deal with, I think, what I'm going to see here is going to be an attack from the south and then an attack from, I think the next one's going to be the east, yeah, the bottom area. Assimilation aura is ready, my queen. Are you even anything in these things? This is unfortunately one of those ones where it would have made a little bit more sense for me to get a little less um, ability mastery or ability and a little bit more um, of the attack damage. You know, it's air units, right? Because, you know, I, I could actually be able to take out the um, Her Herald Unicellum Mine a little more. What up, Stinky? How you doing? And CDG, how you doing? Did you did you want to play? You can play. Alright, so now... Uh, he's going to go there. I guess I'll go over here. Everybody can play. So wait, can an Omega Worm pick up minerals? I don't know if it can or not. I 
can't remember. I know I shouldn't use it here, but I'm doing it. I have t only have 23? God. I feel like I should have so much more, but they just require so much. The enemy can't even do anything. No, don't get me wrong, these, um, Scourge can do a lot of damage here. The temple, that is. Not necessarily me. I mean, I might have more Nidus Worms than that, but I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know if I actually have all of them on control groups at, at the moment. Oh, uh, get out of there. A little too much damage. <laughs> Kerrigan! You go die, girl. Immobilization wave is available. Okay, this is the one that's just a regular attack wave, so I can just do that, kill everything. Why do I feel like he's attacking me? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't, but it totally felt like he was attacking me. <laughs> okay, so I have 40 Nidus Worms. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's not bad. Uh, no, I don't have money to upgrade it on anything at the moment. I would love to upgrade to, like, ridiculous high C CPUs, CCUs. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dinky. So, yeah. Oh, well, happy birthday to you, Stinky. I'm going to keep calling you Stinky because that's your name, but it feels a little, a little weird. But yeah, did we, we, did we get all the bonuses? We did. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so we killed a little bit. Solo Kerrigan. Th that's one of the missions where ultimately, you now if it was all air hybrid, I would have just been so screwed with, when it comes to a lot of things because what was I going to do, right? And that's when having less... Energy regen and more attack makes more sense, but even then. But that was just a straight Kerrigan. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that like button.